I hope I'm focused because I don't think in the last video I filmed at this angle I wasn't focused. Hi guys, welcome to Book Jockey. This is just a super quick review of the book Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater. This is like I think her first published novel and it was good um, enough. <laughs> I didn't love it. I gave it a 2 out of 5 on Goodreads. Uh, mostly because I, it just was never that great for me. I think part of that might be just because I'm 23 now and I think a 16 year old Sarah would have just like ate this up. But then again, like 16 year old Sarah loved Twilight, which I would really compare this book to. So I will just say if you liked the romance in Twilight, you will like the romance in this book probably. Um, just because it was pretty... It's it's like that. It's just like that. I, You should know what that means if you've read Twilight. Um, but yeah, the pacing kind of dragged in the middle. It, it took a while for like a lot of the action to kind of get going and things to start. I really felt like there wasn't enough time spent on some of the side characters and considering how long this book was and how much time was spent um, kind of on the characters towards the end of the book, I really was like, uh, I could have used a little bit more world building just literally just around the characters because there was things that were happening where I was like, I'm very confused where this is coming from. Some of the actions didn't make total sense where it's like maybe if it had been established a little bit more early on in the book, I'd be a little bit more on board, but right now I'm confused kind of thing. The story was like engaging enough to finish, because I finished this, but I'm not going to probably continue on with this series. If anything, yeah, I would be surprised. It would have to be like I was really in the mood to kind of read something just to kind of not criticize it, but just to like analyze the bejesus out of it in a critical way. I'm so criticize it, I guess, but um, my other issue is this was like severely huge lack of diversity. It was like a real kind of just whatever read, but I do think if you're younger, you'll like it. I think if you are younger, this will resonate with you more than me as a, an adult. I think high school students will probably at least find some of this a little bit more relatable. As was, like the whole time I was reading it, I was really thinking like, I think I would have liked this a lot more in high school. I bought it back like my freshman year in college and then just never read it which was six years ago. So yeah, and I think also if you like werewolves, I do think the the kind of thought process behind how the werewolves work is interesting. The mythology seems well thought out within the book itself, so points for that. And if you like werewolves and you're kind of, you just want to read interesting things, like interesting takes on werewolves, this is also like, I think this would be a good book. Uh, yeah, it was just okay. The cover is really pretty though, and I do like that the font. The font is like blue, and then it's. I like yeah. I like the fonts blue. That's fun, and I like yeah again cover super pretty, just not that exciting of a read. So yeah, I hope. I don't even know. I don't know what the history of this book is. Do people like it? Do people not? Like, how do people feel about it? I'd love to know. Please let me know in the comments if you read this and liked it ever at all, or if you want to read it now, if you're curious, like, just, you know, let me know. Or, you know, if you thought this review was super rambly, like I think it is, you know, please like the video and subscribe if you want more of my probably seemingly mediocre content. But guys, like, I swear, this is just the beginning. I'm gonna get better. <laughs> I can only go up from here. Yeah, so thanks for watching a book jockey, and see you guys later. Oh, I make videos every Tuesday, Thursday, sometimes Sundays. Probably most, yeah, Tuesdays. I make videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, and sometimes Sundays, so tune in. <laughs> okay, cool. Bye, thanks, guys.